Hello everyone, it's indeed inspiring to see you back again. And this is tutorial five on handling the missing values with PySpark. So let us begin. So let me just import the library. So from PySpark.sql, I'll be importing Spark session. Okay, yes, yeah, Spark session. And let me create an object of Spark session. So Spark session dot builder dot app name. And here I'll be giving missing value app because we are going to handle missing value. And with the help of get or create function, we are going to create this object. So SS is the object created. Let me now go and uh, uh, upload the data set that is Iris. So Iris is equal to with the help of SS dot read function, read dot CSV function, I'll be doing the same. And here, let me just upload my data from a D drive and training folder. So I have that data into training folder, iris dot data. And uh, yeah, so some something happened. So here, yeah, double slash I'll require. Uh, path does not exist. T R A I N I N G. Okay, so, so there's a spelling mistake. Let me just correct it. All right. So this is iris dot show. This is my data. Yeah, so you can have a look at it. This is the data and uh, here we can see some null values are also there, easily visible. It is showing just 20 records and uh, I will be uh, basically, sub I'll, I'll be changing the column names. So I just start columns if you see, C-O-L-U-M-N-S, okay, columns. So here we have these columns. So I, I just want to change them. So I will change them. I just start with column renamed and uh, here I'll be putting up the first one as underscore C naught and uh, then comma, then here I'll be putting as sepal uh, length. The first one is sepal length and uh, GTH. And I'll be putting accordingly the other ones as well. So slash the other ones here. And I'll just, uh, it is not going to change the original one. So therefore I'll just initialize it with iris dot so that the changes happen in the, the, the original uh, original data frame which we have. I need to make changes at five places. So I've done this way. This, this needs to be C1, this needs to be C2, C3, and C4. C4 is going to be the class. So let me make it as CLASS class. C3 is going to be petal width. So petal, petal width, let me change it to petal width. And uh, this is going to be petal length. So P-E-T-A-L petal length. This is going to be sepal width. So I have renamed all the columns, W-I-D-T-H width. And let me just check here, iris dot show. And here I can see that, yes. Sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and class. So class has, okay, so I, I just, I can just change it from class to proper name as, okay. Yeah, class. Okay, so I've got this. Now, uh, I'll, I'll not get into describe and all. I'll just do the print schema part once. So I just dot uh, uh, print schema. And uh, so here we can see we have sepal length as string, sepal width as string. So all of them are as string only. Fine. Now let us move ahead and try to understand uh, that about any values. So here we have any values, null, 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 you can see. So if I want to drop them, I can use the uh, na dot drop method. So iris dot na dot drop method I can use, and uh, I can just type show over here, and you can see it it is showing the first twenty records only, but you can see that it has dropped the na values. Okay, so if 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 you see here, uh, we have the this third even the second record zero one two second record is having null over here and uh, here you can see that record has been removed. So this drop method is used to drop the NAs, but we know that every time we cannot drop. So we uh, we may have to replace also or impute the values. We'll see that as well. But let's see that uh, what drop function can perform, what else drop function can perform. So this is just going to show us the output. It is not making any changes in the original data frame. So uh, we can you know keep on executing without making any changes to the original data set because we are just uh, uh, exploring this particular function. So here I'm having iris.na.drop 
And let me show you here the documentation. So here you can see it has got how, it has got threshold, it has got subset. So by default, this how is any. So if the how is any, that means uh, drop a row if it contains any nulls. And if you see if all, then drop a row if all of its values are null. So if I type, even if I type here, how is equal to any. So by default, it was using any strategy only. So in this case, it is not going to make any other changes which we had got in the previous output. So iris.na.drop.show, this is going to give this output. The same output is going to, we are going to get from iris.na.drop how is equal to any. So this is also going to give us the same output. Now, after this, we will be going for here, I'm doing iris dot and drop. Now I'll be putting here how and the, uh, the value I'm going to pass, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll have to do iris.na.drop. So na.drop. Inside this, I'm going to put how is equal to all. In this case, it will be checking all the values to be NAs. Okay. So we, we know that all the values uh, are, in this case, are not NA. In this case, are not null or NA. But in these two cases, they are. Okay. So it should ideally just drop these two values. So let us check that part. So here I have iris.na.drop and how is how is equal to all. So here you can see that zero, one, and two. So the second record was having null. It is still having null. It is still having null. It is also having null. So it has only dropped wherever this how is equal to all, wherever all the values were, uh, all the values were NAs or nulls. Now let us understand uh, there is another parameter. I'll, I'll tell you that is thresh, threshold. So iris dot iris dot na dot drop and inside it we have a parameter which is threshold so by default threshold is null none and if we want we can change the value of threshold by giving some integer value which basically means that how many values we want not to be null for example let us consider from here so here we have one two so if i want at least two values not to be null okay or because uh, here max, I'll, I'll put three values. So if I put three values, then uh, wherever we don't have three values as null, those will get deleted. So in this case, if you see, this is one, this is two, only two values are non-null. So therefore this record is going to get deleted as well. So here I'm going to put thresh function. So thresh is equal to three I'm putting and enter. So let me just uh, write the function show as well here. And here you can see that we don't have any uh, any those cells or records where uh, we don't have more than, uh, we don't have at least three values as non-null. So all the values where wherever we have less than three values, which are non-null, they have got dropped off. So this is the, uh, this is the use of threshold. And uh, now we have one more that is the subset. So sometimes we want to use it for a particular uh, subset of the data. So in that case, we can use the subset. Okay, so let me use the subset as well. So here, iris dot, iris dot, na dot, and uh, drop. And here, I'm, I'm going to use subset, so subset. And inside subset, I can just put, let's say, uh, I'll be putting up the class one. Okay, so the last one, it is just going to work for class uh, class column okay so show and here you can see only for class column it has dropped wherever in class column we had yeah just for the sake of understanding i'll just do iris dot show so here we can see that this particular record is null 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 okay so here we have nulls so only these will be getting dropped but if you see this record and this record we don't have the class column as null so they will not get uh, dropped off. So here you can see they did not get dropped off because class uh, value is class value is iris setosa. Okay, so this we have seen that how this drop function is working. And uh, now the next part is filling the values. So we will see that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Keep watching.